twinkled, twinkled, twinkled little chocolate bar. My dad was a wasty car. This is the button and pull the tube. Off he goes in a cloud of smoke. Twinkle, twinkle, little chocolate bar. My dad drives a wasty car. Ah. Morning, Moxie. Morning, baby. You've been outside already, haven't you? It's such a nice morning. This makes me happy every morning. Although I wish I didn't keep shutting it in the gate. It's getting a bit mangled because it keeps getting shut in the gate. I love this bit. Look. <laughs> when I walk down this bit, it just cheers me up. Look at them tiny white flowers. Aren't they lovely? There, look, right up there. All right, darling. Oh, I'm singing away. Right, you want your breakfast? Yeah. Come on in, sweetheart. I haven't touched. You're right, Arjun. Oh, you've touched nails. You'll have to wash your hands again now. I'll have to too. Yeah. Mopsy, they've grasped you up about the pooing. From the top of the ladder, Mitch saw some dolls at the other end of the shop. We're watching Mary Munger and Midge. The first episode, I've just looked it up, was aired in 1969. We love watching this. Yesterday when we were out, we popped out yesterday afternoon and there was a big crane and Winry said, oh, look at the boon on that. And she learnt that term from watching Mary Munger and Midge. I love the artwork in it. <laughs> I'll try and remember to put a little link in. There's a, there's a. This morning we've found there's a someone's uploaded a video of all the episodes, and you can check it out if you want. It's very relaxing to listen to. My two love it. Probably just for me, Jay. We're gonna make muffins. So this is my fruity muffin loaf. So that when I first did this, I put plums and damsons in the bottom of the tray and then poured the mixture on. But I do use it more of a guideline than an actual actual recipe. That's just one I've written down. So that's what I'm about to do. I think the baby's going to help me. And then I thought I'd have a chat with you as well. I'm going to make mock cheese sandwiches for our lunch. 1940 sandwiches, which I love. They're so easy, you can definitely do them. Number now. Yeah, it is the right number now. I've just the children have been helping me. I can't video them doing it because they're not fully dressed. But <laughs> what's I gonna say? Oh, I didn't put in all the flour. I put in a little bit less. I think I did two forty grams of flour, and then I did one twenty mil of milk. So there's not as much because. I don't need as much flour because it's not going to be as wet and we haven't got as many bananas so I don't think I need it as much. I have got these chocolate chips to go in and I think I'm going to put a bit of both in. I might save some of the white ones to sprinkle on top but I think I'm just going to let them mix both of them in because they need using up. They're what we had left over from a birthday cake. Um, and But I wanted to show you this. How lovely is this packaging? quality since 1842 on Tesco's when I ordered some more baking powder and bicarb this was the same price as the cheap one that I normally get so I got my posh ones and I'm going to keep those tins and it felt lovely to pop the top off with a spoon <laughs> ah, that was really lovely using that yeah, and afterwards definitely I'll keep that and then I'll put some flower cuttings and things I'll have that on my mantelpiece I'll put it right in the centre of my mantelpiece. <laughs> Someone said to me before, 
because I was using, at the time, I was using cans of drink. My husband was bringing cans of drink home and they were American cans and I thought they were lovely. And so afterwards I rinsed it out, put water in it and popped some flowers in the top and someone said, don't you own any vases? <laughs> I like using funny old things. Right, I'm going to mix this in. It looks like a scrambled egg, doesn't it? It's not, it's banana. We'll mix it in anyway. There's a clangor over there, can you see? Peeping out. There we go. I'm just about to put them in the oven. I'm going to keep an eye on them though because they're cakes rather than a loaf. Usually I have a silicon loaf cake mould thing that I put it in. But I find it's harder for the babies to eat like that because it's very crumbly. So if I make them in muffins they find it easier to eat them because they can just hold the muffin. So I did butter this first. I like butter all around them. And so now... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat that bit. <laughs> Save cleaning the burnt bit off later. I'm just gonna pop those in. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on them because they won't need as long. Okay, so mock cheese. This is from this book here. It's one of the easiest things to make. So we've got our bread. They would have obviously had the national loaf, which apparently I'm was. A oh, oh no, I'm making the cheese, the mock cheese sandwiches. Do you remember? Apparently the national loaf was all right on the day you got it. It was bearable. And then the next day it was like horrible. So they used to break it up and fry it a lot. I see that frying it in lard and things like that. And then I've got some red Leicester that I've already grated. And I'm about to grate the carrot. And the idea is because cheese was on the ration, you would add in some carrot to bulk out your cheese sandwich. So it was a mock cheese sandwich and butters and things were obviously on the ration as well but if you could get hold of salad cream this seems to be something they've used a lot or salad dressing so I just use salad cream um, so instead of butter I spread the salad cream on the bread very thinly and then I mix the carrot and the cheese and put it in the sandwich mock cheese sandwich now isn't that the most easy thing in the world and it's a really low calorie one as well and it's fun because the children like trying to guess which bit's carrot and which bit's not. Now, let me grate the carrot up. Oh, and I have to save a little piece of this for Mopsy because she loves carrot. She prefers carrot to dog food. Funny old dog. And I should mention, whilst I'm just started grating this, I leave the skin on. They always told you not to waste. Don't waste your scraps. Don't waste your scraps and you'd use them for lots of things. But actually, if you were boiling vegetables you would use the smallest amount of water to save on nutrients and you would save that water as well to use the other parts of your cooking honestly these recipe books they're brilliant and war and kitchen garden as well on youtube um yeah you would the nutrients they say i don't know whether it's true i haven't looked it up but they always say that there's loads of nutrients in the skin and that's the bits you peel off so I don't bother peeling it off. Just grate it as it is. Time to take these out. Oh, oh don't they look lovely? Mopsy Memo. It's your carrot, darling. You not fancy it right now? Oh, you do fancy it. Now, I'll show you a little secret in our conservatory. I've recently done the conservatory up, which means I got the rocking chair out of, well, my husband got the rocking chair out of the garage. Um, I'll show you this as well. I use milk carton boxes as my shoes. Can you see? There's my shoe cupboard and my shoe compartment boxes because they're really sturdy. And on the side, they've got Union Jack, so they're quite pretty to look at. Bit of make do them in there. But yeah, the carpet, I'll tell you a secret now. That's where I was cutting the grass. This bit here is just a piece that we have cut as a doormat. But I didn't have any carpet in here, I had two rugs. I had to get rid of the purple one. It was 10 years old anyway. 
so I've just got this one this used to be in my front room and it is all marked because it, it, this is very old as well um, but I bought it out here because the floor out here was just concrete and then someone was giving away free off cuts of brand new carpet on Olio and so I had to run and collected it and look it wasn't enough to do the whole floor <laughs> so I came up with the idea of going all the way around the edge put this carpet in the middle and put the carpet all around the edge so now you know my secret look at that tidy these up I have to leave them out when they're drying there we go so yeah it goes all the way around the edge this is one that we got second hand I've got this chair out covered this with my mum's tablecloth got that out of the um, shed because I had that in the shed that old chair and then the lady that gave the offcut she had this carpet as well and it didn't have holes like this when we got it but I put it in my washing machine and my washing machine wasn't impressed as you can imagine but it doesn't matter it's not like a proper carpet it is like a blankety type but it pulled some of this out because I think it's like punch needle but that's all right it's nice and clean now and it hides the marks for the carpet underneath and that she's got her carrot now but yeah oh, let's pick these up now you know the secret <laughs> conservatory secret that's my husband's work stuff there I'm gonna save some of this carrot I won't touch it because I haven't washed my hands yet from showing me that carpet but some of the carrot that's in here I'm gonna save it because we've got potatoes for dinner and you can make victory potatoes <laughs> by getting potatoes boiling them adding salad cream and carrot and that makes them victory <laughs> That was in one of the books I read as well, so it always makes me laugh when I have victory potatoes for dinner. Here's the lunch. They did stick to the bottom of the pan. <laughs> That's because I put the chocolate in. They don't normally do that, but I know that the chocolate sinks to the bottom, doesn't it? And I'm meant to put flour or something with it, but I can't be bothered with that. They're all right. We're just going to eat them. I'm not going to take pictures of them. Well, I'm obviously showing you, but you know what I mean. And then we're going to have tortilla chips with them. They are the cheapest thing on Tesco for the weight, crisp-wise. So that's why I get them. They're really cheap. And then tonight, our dinner will be victory potatoes, like I said. Some broccoli, because you babies want to cut the broccoli up, don't you? Yeah, you're going to help me cut it. And boiled eggs that's for our dinner and we had toast for breakfast we had lovely buttery toast didn't we and, and my old egg yeah boiled egg is for dinner so there we go don't matter what you look like it doesn't matter what you wear and how many rings you got on your fingers We, we don't, don't care, no we, we don't, don't care. care Don't yeah, matter where you young. come from It don't we even matter what you are A dog, a pig, a cow, a goat We had them all in here, had them all in here And they all knew what they wanted And what they wanted them to do I told them what they needed Just oh, like I'll be telling you You gotta dig a little deeper Find out who you are Dig a little deeper It ain't a heart When you find out who you are you Find out what you need and then blue skies and sunshine are guaranteed. Why are you taking it out? Oh, I'm still curving it. Do you like watching? <laughs> Maybe you'll be a hairdresser. Yeah. There's red lights now. Red lights. What's it mean when there's a red light? It means stop. Alright. Oh,
And when they mean screen lights, they, they have to open. Green lights! Sweet! That was she stole. I got yeah. I got a trumpet no, going on me. now. So none of the cars can get out. It, that, and this. My one's in the wrong parking space. Look. Maybe you could move it for me. It's meant to be up there. Because that's Mummy's letter up there and it's parked in the wrong spot. Say, Carl, you're in the wrong spot. You need to get this one, Arden, and move it all the way round and into that spot. That's it, now it's in the right spot. Upside down, but in the right spot. That bee's in the wrong spot as well. Bee, you're meant to be parking over here. Allocated parking bee. Back you go. Not very good parkers, are they? That's it, in the bee one. That's it, in you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see what Hobbycraft gave me as a birthday present? Fabric paint. So I, when you sign, they didn't really send me it. I like to think they did. If you sign up to the app, they um give you five pound off when it's your birthday. So oh, it's upstairs. One sec. Right, you're on the stairs with me. See my wallpaper stairs. <laughs> that was for free wallpaper samples. I did them. Yeah. So when you sign up to the app, there's a tip. You get five pounds off when it's your birthday. So my husband's got the app and I've got the app. So twice yearly, I get a five pound voucher. And this is what I got, some fabric paint. I wear a lot of men's t-shirts because they're just really comfy. <laughs> I got a lot of them after I had my children. But I wore men's t-shirts before that. But they just, they're really baggy on me now, which I love. Because they're like 3XL. And I love them baggy. I purposely buy the biggest size I can buy, just so really nice and baggy. And so I was thinking with the fabric paint, to make them a bit more girly and feminine, I'm gonna paint like pretty designs, maybe around the collars, something like that. Yeah. I thought that was a lot bigger when I looked at it on the app. And then when I went in store, we struggled to find it because it was so tiny, but it was four pounds 30. So yeah, I had that. And I actually treated myself when we was in there. We had sold um, through Facebook Marketplace. I had this uh, like skull. It was not a real skull. My husband likes scary things. <laughs> it was like a skull ornament thing. And it was um, something I didn't want in the house anymore. And so we said that we'd sell it. So originally we had it up for a lot of money. And then we reduced it down and normally things sell if you do that. So we got £10 from it. So I had £5 voucher and £2.50 voucher and then the £10 from selling the Rams full. And I'm going to show you what I got. These are something that I'm going to show you on another video. I want to do a video just for them. A lovely gift that I was sent. So I bought myself some ribbon in there. These are a pound and I'm going to use that to do up the back of the crochet dress. You know that I've made the top and I'm going to add the fabric. Well, that's the ribbon. I was going to do it elastic, but I think I'll just put a ribbon around the back. And I also treated myself to these. So I got all of this and a, and a little plastic tray that was only £3 for £8. So I did really well. I've been wanting to try this yarn for ages. It's actually a lot... It feels like it might be irritating to wear i thought it would be a lot softer made for the quiet moments but i'm thinking of oh sorry about the shouting i'm thinking about making them some waldorf style dolls for christmas and so i thought these would be nice cardies for them right anyway i better go oh and blankets because there's lots of them i better go feed them they got them lovely 
muffins for breakfast so it's nice and easy which is why I can have a quick chat with you and I'll show you these another day Here's breakfast great some banana chocolate muffins feel like I looked after myself yesterday when I made the cakes because I made myself an easy breakfast morning that's nice isn't it knowing that you've set yourself up for the next day and yes I am having two don't judge me just sitting here working on the left front of my cardigan this is the yarn that my children got me for Mother's Day and got me this rainbow yarn and the pink and that's how the rainbow yarn comes out like that it's like an acid dye effect and then I've striped it with the pink it's beautiful doesn't it well this yarn we got in the cancer research shop which is the big charity shop and I know that's where that came from I was there when they picked it <laughs> but I didn't know for sure anyway when we went back lovely Heather sent me a little um, Kofi treat and said get yourself some cake for your birthday which was lovely thank you Heather well I thought I'd spend it on um, yarn which is cheeky isn't it but a cake of yarn can I get away with that <laughs> so I was going to get some carrot cake with it but yeah I thought I needed some more yarn to finish this and I thought cakes of yarn would be okay so yeah I went back down there this is all sold out absolutely and completely gone I managed to get two balls of this but this was completely gone I might have got three balls of that actually so that's a problem isn't it um, I am um, rang I asked in the store and they said they're probably not gonna have it back for another four or five weeks and they're not sure they if they're getting this color in then so then I rang around a couple of the other ones and none of them none of them stores had it in they said some all of a sudden people have been flying in to buy it so someone's obviously making blankets or something out of it I don't know it is gorgeous but I went online and I know from watching Bag of Day Crochet some of the videos she watches <laughs> I had a, a stint of watching her unboxing videos last year and I learnt that a lot of the time she says oh this reminds me of this yarn and it's like different yarn under different brands so, well same yarn under different yarn brands so I thought I wonder if I can find this under a different yarn brand and I did find it and my husband has ordered it he found it on Amazon and there's tons of different versions of it as well which that wasn't like that in cancer research oh well done baby so when that arrives I'll show you so then if you want to try some of this yarn you can I am 99% sure that I've got the same yarn coming. So there we go. And if not, then it will just be slightly different up the front. But I'm pretty sure I've found the same one. Here are my little rabbits that I've made. They're for a gift. Heather sent me this beautiful yarn. And I just had to work it up straight away. So I held it with this cone of yarn that I've got down here. It's cheaper to buy nice yarns on a cone. So I think this is merino, like cash merino yarn. I've got on a cone down there and then I just pull it up. It just comes up from there. And so I held it double and that's how I made them bunnies. Aren't they lovely? That's out of the mini knitted woodland book by Sashio Ishu. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then... That's no surprise, is it? English people can't say things properly whatsoever. <laughs> Dishcloth change over day. So this one's out. These are the store-bought ones, the top one. This is where my mum bought. Made. My mum made. These two are in. It's got holes in it. Doesn't matter, it still works. That's my new one. This is my favourite bit. I love that. Right. 
cheer me up whilst I'm doing this job. I should say as well, have you heard of the homemaker's blessing? It's what I try and do when I'm doing jobs that I don't really like doing, like washing up. I don't particularly like washing up. I like doing the washing, don't like putting the washing away, things like that. So you, it's, you remind yourself, I am so blessed to have these things to wash up that have been made dirty because I am blessed to have children, to be in my house. And so you counteract the negative with the blessing. So you say that like, you're thinking, I do not want to put all this washing away. That is one of my things. I love washing it, getting it clean, folding it. Something about putting it in the drawers, I don't like doing. How lucky I am to have children that are getting through so many clothes. How wonderful it is to have children to, that grow up. A lot of people say, oh, isn't it a shame when they grow up? It's not. It's a shame when they don't get to grow up. It's a blessing to have them grow up. And so I try and remind myself of that. And then I say, I say, I say it with lots of things. I cleaning up Mopsy's poo. I don't like doing that. And when we didn't have dogs, I thought at least I won't have to do that. But then I just picked up fox poo. So I still did. And so I think at least I've got a little lovely doggy who's healthy. Because if you've had dogs that have poisoned themselves, which we have, Ellie poisoned herself by sneaking out of a tent. She undid the zip because she's a collie. This is what they're like. She was a collie, bless her. She undid the zip when we were camping, snuck out and ate the day before's duck rice because we were camping in Cornwall. And they got a really good um, Chinese down in St. Just back then. Don't, I've not had it since. Anyway, the point was she poisoned herself. And when she got well and had a proper bowel movement, <laughs> Funny thing to talk about, you were very, we were very grateful about it because it meant that she was well. So you have to counteract things, don't you? So, yeah, the idea, I'm sure someone said it and I remembered it was homemaker's blessings. I'm blessed to have these people around me. I'm blessed to be able to do these things. The reason I have these jobs I hate doing is because of insert a reason. That's how I try and change my mindset on it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes I just do the job in a very cross way and get it done. <laughs> Sing as though no one can hear you. Smile and your heart will be light. Laugh and the world will laugh with you, making the day warm and bright. Dance as no one can see you. Life is too short to be sad. Live as though each day is precious. Now is the time to be glad. Now I'm not going to live in his garden. Oh, yummy, yummy, it says. Hey, Mum's got her socks on. <laughs> These are the socks that I made for, for her birthday. That's the yarn that we got when we went to see the Victorian Father Christmas. Very nice. Very lovely modelling. <laughs> <laughs> These are really lovely slices of strawberry there, Arden. Oh, Henry, lovely chunks. Thanks. Out the green, the big green bits that you've got, there's still some strawberry left on them as well, Henry. You can cut bits more off of them, darling. And the green bits won't hurt you. Okay. That's it, good girl. Oh, they're going to taste yummier, aren't they? Because you've cut them yourselves. Can I put the bits you down in your bowl? Oh, you're just eating them. <laughs> Mum's trying her new cardi on. I told you I wouldn't get the button band knit for Tuesday. Terrible, aren't I? And I don't know if I'm overly confident about that yarn because I did go looking for it and I couldn't find it. So I'll have to see. You'll wear it more now. It's a cardi, won't you? Oh, yeah. See, Purple. told you you'd prefer it more. Don't get too hot. No, I do think it needs buttons though. Hold it at the top. It might be all right with just one at the top. 
No, it need it need more buttons. I think it needs buttons all the way down. I think it'd be nice if you could do it up all the way. It'd be much cosier. You're just fretting because you don't want me to do the buttonholes, but I like buttonholes. Yeah, you it's no there's no obligation. Buttons don't make it an obligation. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, it's nice. Much better. No. You can't find it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because I think, well, I'll have to go see what I've got. It's just hard because I can't be up there long enough to get a proper look in at the moment. Not liking. Yeah, much better. This is the dress I was talking about putting it with. This is one of my favourite dresses that I wore last year. I bought it oversized anyway because I wanted it to be comfy. And now it's just a bit too big. And my mum said, oh, you could take it in. But what it does is it, it goes right in in between your boobs. And it looks like I'm trying to show them off. And that's not what I'm after. So, and look, I still haven't sewn them in. I said I was going to do it the other day and then we went out. So, anyway, I'm going to cut the fabric off the top of the dress here. Probably leave an inch. So I'll cut it for about there. And then I'll have the stretchy waist underneath this. And then it's oh, it goes all the way to the floor. It's beautiful. And then this part of the fabric at the top I'll cut the frill off and I can use that for little scrappy hearts and things like that and little patchwork pieces and then this fabric here I'm gonna cut to sew onto this and I'll attach it onto the back of this so that nothing peeps through that shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't peep through and then I can wear it without a bra that would be nice and comfy I'll have the option and then I've got to decide on what I'm going to do with the straps but I don't want it super strappy so what I might do is, I don't know whether I'll maybe do tiny squares or just block it, do like a block colour of it and then add frilly bits to the edge with either fabric or just by, I could knit a frill on, couldn't I? Yeah, or just by adding extra crochet stitches and doing it that way. I'm not sure. I don't really have big plans for things. I like to make it up as I go and see what I fancy. So I've got that out anyway. Now you've seen the fabric. Can you see what I'm imagining a bit? When I got it out, Mum said, oh, yeah. Yep, yep, she says. <laughs> she knew what I meant then. She's gone now. And that's the book that those rabbits were from. It's a really good book for scrap projects and everything's so cute inside. I'm very cross. Mopsy just jumped on the chair and ate some of my muffin. It might sound funny. I'm so cross right now. It'll probably sound funny to me tomorrow, but it's too soon for it to be funny right now. I just poured her a whole bowl of food as well. She's really naughty with that. She wasn't even meant to be in here. She let herself in. Anyway. <sighs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> My little boy's stopped wearing nappies as much. He wants to be a big boy now. Bless his heart. So, you can imagine that's a bit tricky. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to use the potty. He wants to go on the toilet. So, there's a lot of flushing over and over and things like that so I'm just constantly running to and fro and I'm posting this video on Thursday so currently it's Tuesday but on Friday you'll see why I was exhausted and I was up all night running up and down the stairs helping my little boy out and yeah and the boilers broke like properly broke it's been slowly passing away for a while. <laughs> um, but it's really cold today. There's a storm. 
I thought the storm was the other day, but it's got really cold today, so I'm thinking it maybe it's the tail end of the storm. But underneath our floors is is two two and a half foot of hollow space before it's just ground, so it's just wooden floor and ground. And we've got like laminate stuff down, but it's just so cold still. You can hear it blowing under the floors and the chimneys are open chimneys. Well, up this end, and I've had to put a pillow pillowcases up there to try and block the hole because the gas fires don't work and we can't have a real fire in in there with a gas fire thing there um and that just sucks the heat up as well so I'll, i've had pillows up there but it's still so cold so i thought oh i'll put the heating on just to get rid of the chill because i don't want the house getting damp and the boiler because on our boiler we can have it like just water or heating and water so I turned it back onto the heating and water and it made a big clunk noise and I thought that don't sound very good and then I just walked off <laughs> and then about five minutes later I thought I need to go check on that and I was dreading it because I knew I just knew I went back upstairs and it smelt very hot the boiler didn't smell like it normally smells it smelt very hot and when I looked at the pressure it was like the top end of the red almost couldn't go any further i thought oh that's gonna explode or something so i just switched it back on to the um cold water and it's well to the to the hot water and it went down but now something's definitely wrong because we've only got cold water <sighs> this is why you have to be so aware of all the good little things otherwise the negative things really weigh you down you could have a hundred and 50 good things but that one thing in your day that's a bad thing can really bring you down so you have to think of your blessings all the time otherwise it really affects you so mopsy ate my muffin i was really really cross about that but i had another one in the kitchen so i just replaced it so it just means in the morning they can't have muffins in the morning i'll have to cook a break but i'm, I'm gonna do cook cook breakfast i'm going to cook some eggs anyway so they've got warm food i think warm food's nice in the morning so that was a positive to that the boiler's broke okay the positive to that is i have got little heaters i've got one up the other end of the room that looks like a fake wood burner we got that for free because the person said it didn't work anymore but it just needed the bulb changing in the light the heat was fine we changed the bulb chris had one in the garage that fitted so that's a plus i could just pop that on and i've got my hot water bottle burning my feet on it <laughs> i like doing that keep my feet warm and the positive of the boiler being broke is it's not the middle of winter so it is what it is no hot water at all the positive to that is i still have access to a kettle so i can still feel to my teas, fill the washing up bowl up with hot water and fill the sink up with hot water and clean the babies that way and just rub them over with a flannel Chris will be home Friday I'm sure he'll figure out something to do with it I've got a lovely cup of tea you have to think of the positives and I don't want people to, to think that it's all like la -di da and nothing goes wrong in my day hundreds of things go wrong Loads of things make me miserable and annoy me. There was a massive wasp in my porch. <laughs> my mum was like terrified. And we couldn't shut the front door and it was raining and the door leaks as it is. The, front, the porch door leaks as it is and it fills up out there with, wa with water. Got from that free carpet that I was telling you about. I had extra to put in the porch. I know it's going to go mouldy but it looks better than it did. That was that was a worry though because it was looking like it was going to try and build a nest. Positive, it went back out again and decided better of it. Decided it was too mouldy and <laughs> damp. <laughs> there you go, there's a positive. You have to find the positives to everything. You really, really, really do. There is always a plus side. You can always find a plus side and even if you can't think of it right now, at some point you will be able to. So I'm just going to have a quiet evening, I'm knitting on my dishcloth so I'm going to sit and 
Leaving it on that, and I won't record any more now because this is long already, and I'm not going to want to for the next couple of days. And then Friday is a good day because I'm going to the park, meet my friends, which will be lovely, and let our children play. And then in the afternoon, Christopher comes home, which will be lovely. And we'll have the weekend together. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, I don't really know what else to say. I've got nice things to watch on the telly as well. I hold them back. Sometimes I'll purposely not watch people's programmes. Like, what would they, like, it's not even podcasts because people, some people that I watch, it's not a podcast. It's just like little vlogs and things. I've just, I hold them back. I purposely don't watch them so I can just binge watch maybe three in a row. <laughs> so that's nice. I've got them to look forward to. Nice things on the telly to look forward to. A lovely hot water bottle. It sounds like my son's in his bed, which he didn't do last night. He was up and down all night because there's a change in our routine this week. And it's very, really unsettled him. He's had such bad nightmares. But it sounds like he's asleep, so that's good, isn't it? Got to find the positives in all things. I can't remember what else I was going to say. Oh, I think as well, what I realise now from starting this channel is people probably think I comment on their videos and I haven't actually watched the videos. I've just like gone on and commented on loads of different videos because you can tell when the times at which things are posted, like when comments are added. And what I do is I will binge watch a load of videos on the telly and then later in the evening before I go to bed, if I'm commenting on videos, I'll then sit on my phone and then comment in, I'll go through my history and comment on the videos because I know it helps people out. And so people probably think that I'm just not watching them, but I am. And I didn't realise that. And now I'm starting to think, oh, so I finish watching one and then I quickly add the comment then rather than doing it later. And that's a silly thing to worry about. I don't like it seeming like I'm doing something that I'm not, you know. I don't like lies and things like that. That really stresses me out. I can't think of anything more uncomfortable and stressful than telling a lie. And it gets me in trouble because <laughs> the children go... Have you got any chocolate? I'm like, mm hmm but we can't have it right now. <laughs> I don't like lies and things. They're so stressful. I don't know how anyone copes with the stress of them. I really don't. And so now it looks like I'm saying, oh, I loved watching this. And then I'll comment on the other one and within a minute. And it looks like I'm not watching it. And I am. It's just that I binge watch them and then add the comments later. But that looks like I'm telling lies about it. So anyway... I think I'll stop doing that. <laughs> I'll start being more proactive with things. Mm. I'm just chatting away because I've got no one to chat to. Anyway, I'm going to go put Teddy on. Tomorrow you'll find out why. But by the time... Well, your tomorrow, not my tomorrow. Your tomorrow, you'll find out why. And when I put that one up and tell you what the sad thing is, It'll pretty much be finished. That's why I can share it then. So, anyway. Have a lovely day anyway. With whatever you're doing. Or a lovely evening. Or whatever. Anything, anything that you're making or creating. And that includes your home making. When you make little spaces around your home. And you make it feel all calm and cosy. I love it when I clear a cupboard out. And then I'll keep going and looking at it. Because it just cheers me up. I think oh it's nice and cleared out. I just love things like that. So things like that as well. My tummy's grumbling. It wants the muffin before Mopsy comes back. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. I don't know when I'll be able to post again. Because I think I'm going to have the weekend with my husband. And then I'll get back to you after that. But yeah. Bye.